Hello everyone, welcome to week 16 of Fun at Home English. Today we will look at the answers to the questions from last week's story, Daddy Pig's Office. Then I'll introduce a new story to you, we can read the story together, and then you can answer some questions. Let's go! Let's look at the answers to the questions. First you fill in your English name, your class, and your class number. Let's look at the cover. What is the title of this story? The title is, look at the top, Daddy Pig's Office. What's the weather like in the story? If we open up the book, we can see the sun in the sky. It's sunny. Where will Pepper and George go today? It says, today as a special treat, Pepper and George are visiting Daddy Pig's office. They're going to Daddy Pig's office. What does Daddy Pig do at his office all day? Pepper asks, what do you do at your office all day? And Daddy replies, lots of fun things. Where does Daddy Pig work? It says, they arrive at a very tall building. How do they go to Daddy Pig's office? You can see, they arrive in Daddy Pig's red car. What does Daddy Pig say into the intercom? Look here. It says, hello, says Daddy Pig into the intercom. Which floor is Daddy Pig's office on? My office is at the top, the top floor. What colour is the top button for the lift? Look at the picture. You can see the top button is red. Who works with Daddy Pig? Here you can see Mr. Rabbit and Mrs. Cat. They work with Daddy Pig. They will have a tour of Daddy Pig's office. Where do they start? Let's begin a tour. Mr. Rabbit can we start at your desk? It's Mr. Rabbit's desk. What is Mr. Rabbit's job about? My job is all about numbers, says Mr. Rabbit. Whose desk do they go to second? On with the tour. Next is Mrs. Cat's desk. What is Mrs. Cat's job about? Hello, Pepper and George, says Mrs. Cat. My job is all about drawing shapes on a computer. What shapes does George make? Mrs. Cat helps George make lots of blue triangles. What does Pepper do? Now we print the triangles out, Pepper cries. The printer spits out sheets of paper everywhere. She prints the papers. George and Pepper think it's hilarious. What do you think hilarious means? Hilarious means very funny. They think it's very funny that the papers go everywhere. Whose desk do they go to last? Do you want to see my desk? Daddy Pig asks. Yes, please. What does Daddy Pig use? 
Do you use stamps or a computer? asks Peppa. No, I use coloured pens. What does Peppa draw? You can see the picture. It's a house. What does George draw? George is drawing a dinosaur. What time does the office clock chime? Ding ding! The office clock has just chimed. My goodness, five o'clock already. It is time for Peppa, George and Daddy to go home. Whose job does Peppa like doing best? I like doing Mr Rabbit's job and I like doing Mrs Cat's job. But I like doing your job best, Daddy, says Peppa. How was Peppa and George's day at Daddy Pig's office? Peppa and George have had an excellent day at Daddy Pig's office. The last question was, what job does your mum or dad do? And where do they work? For the first part, you can answer, my mum is a, or my dad is a, and tell me their job. For the second part, you can tell me, she works in a, or he works in a, and tell me the place where they work. Let's look at some examples. Lots of you told me your mum or dad works in an office, just like Daddy Pig. There are lots of different jobs in an office. Here are some of the jobs that you told me. Maybe your mum or dad is a manager or a boss, a clerk, an administrator, an accountant, a civil servant, or a business person. All of these people work in an office. Some of you told me your mum or dad works in a vehicle or works on the road. For example, maybe they are a delivery driver. They will deliver some packages to people, or a taxi driver, or a bus driver. Some of you told me your mum or dad work in a mall or in a shopping centre. They might be a salesperson. They sell things. Or a cashier. That means they take money and give change. Some of your mums and dads work in a restaurant. In a restaurant, maybe they are a chef or a cook. They make the food. Or a waiter or waitress. They give the food to the people in the restaurant. Or a cashier. They take the money from the customers. Some people said their mum or dad works in a university. You go to university to learn things after secondary school. Some of you said your mum or dad is a teacher in a university or a researcher or a programmer. Some of your mums and dads work on a construction site. A construction site is where people make new buildings. Maybe they are a worker, or an engineer, or a crane lorry driver. Some of your parents may work in a clinic or a hospital. 
some of you told me your mum or dad is a nurse or a doctor or a medical technologist. This week's story is another Peppa Pig story. It's called Fun at the Fair. You can see the title at the top. Look at the picture. Who can you see? I can see Peppa Pig, Mummy Pig and Miss Rabbit. They are at a fun fair. Mummy Pig is playing a game where you need to hook a toy duck out of the water and you can win a prize. Look at the top, there are some prizes. A big panda teddy and lots of small other animal teddies. Let's read the back cover. Roll up, roll up. Today, Pepper, George and their family are going on a day out to the fun fair. Who will win an enormous teddy bear? And who will be scared of the helter-skelter? Find out what happens in this fairground adventure. Let's read the story. Today, Pepper and her family are at the fun fair. Slidey, slidey, giggles George. George wants to go on the helter-skelter, says Daddy Pig. Daddy Pig and George head off to the helter-skelter. Roll up, roll up, cries Miss Rabbit. Hook a duck and win a giant teddy. I'll try to win one for you, Peppa, says Mummy Pig, but I don't think it's that easy. It's impossible, laughs Miss Rabbit. We'll see about that, cries Mummy Pig. Splush! Mummy Pig has hooked a duck. Hooray! cheers Pepper. That's amazing, cries Miss Rabbit. Here's your giant teddy. Wouldn't you like a little teddy instead, Pepper? No way, giggles Pepper happily. George and Daddy Pig are at the Helter Skelter. Hmm, it's a bit high, George. Are you sure you want to have a go? asks Daddy Pig. George giggles and runs up the stairs to the top. It's a bit too high, and George starts to cry. Don't worry, George, I'll come up with you, says Daddy Pig. Hee hee, wee, cries George, sliding all the way down the helter skelter. Now George is having too much fun to be scared. It's a bit high says Daddy Pig nervously. Daddy Pig is more scared than George. Oops! Daddy Pig slips down the slide. Whoa! Pepper and Mummy Pig are at the Hit the Target stall. You can do that easily, Mummy, says Pepper. Ho, ho, you won't win, laughs Mr. Labrador. Women are useless at this. What did you say, says Mummy Pig crossly. She picks up the bow and arrow and aims. Whoosh! The arrow hits the target right in the middle. Mummy Pig Wins again. Unbelievable, cries Mr. Labrador. Here's your teddy. Hooray, cheers Pepper. Now she has two giant teddies. Daddy Pig and George are riding on the big wheel. George loves it, but Daddy Pig 
is a little bit scared. This really is high, says Daddy Pig, as the big wheel goes round and round. Hee hee, giggles George. Daddy Pig and George find Pepper and Mummy Pig. Hit this button with a hammer, says Mr. Bull. If the bell rings, you win a prize. I'll have a go, says Daddy Pig. Stand back. I think you're a bit wobbly from the big wheel, says Mummy Pig. Ho, ho, laughs Mr. Bull. Daddy Pig is looking a bit shaky. What? says Mummy Pig crossly. Give me that hammer. Whack! Mummy Pig hits the button as hard as she can. The bell rings loudly. Ding, ding, ding! Everyone is very impressed. Mummy Pig wins all the giant teddies at the fair. Hooray! cheers Peppa, and she gives all of her friends one giant teddy bear each. Hooray! everyone cheers. We love fun fairs! The End Now that we've read the story, you can answer some questions. First, fill in your English name, your class, and your class number. What is the title of this story? Where do Peppa and her family go? What does George want to go on? Which one is the Helter Skelter. Which game do Peppa and Mummy Pig play first? What can Peppa and Mummy Pig win? What do you think impossible means? Daddy Pig and George are at the Helter Skelter. Daddy Pig thinks it is a bit... When George gets to the top of the Helter Scouter, he starts to cry. How does he feel? What does Daddy Pig say to George? What does George do? How does George feel now? How does Daddy Pig feel now? Where do Peppa and Mummy Pig go next? What does Mr Labrador say to Mummy Pig? What did you say? says Mummy Pig crossly. How does she feel? Mummy picks up the bow and arrow and... Where did Daddy Pig and George go next? Daddy Pig is a little bit scared. How does George feel? Daddy Pig and George find Peppa and Mummy Pig. Where are they? Who runs the stall? What happens when Mummy Pig tries to hit the button? How many teddies does Mummy Pig win? What does Peppa Pig do with all the teddies? Have you been to a fun fair? Which stalls did you play on? Which rides did you go on? In this story, they played on the Hook a Duck stall, the Hit the Target stall, and the Hit the Button with a Hammer stall. And they went on the Helter Skelter, 
and the big wheel. How about you? Tell me about when you've been to a fun fair. See you next week. Bye-bye.